Hello po. Good morning. Wala pa. Wala pala akong sound kanina. Ako nagsasalita. Anyways, ayan. Before we start guys, let's pray po muna. Ayan. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, maraming maraming salamat po for for everything that you've given to us, lalo-lalo na po every day na ngayong pandemic. Thank you, Father God, for the provision and the opportunity, of course, sa lahat po ng bagay, lalo na right now na this uh, pandemic season. But thank you, Lord, kasi um, every day mo pa rin kaming binibless, every day mo pa rin kaming um, binibigyan ng chance na gumising each and every day. So we thank you for that. But right now, Lord, we ask for Um, guidance para po sa reporters natin, sa professor natin, and of course sa audience po namin for today as we talk about the water coloring. Um, we thank you, Lord God. That's all for today. Um, maraming maraming salamat po. Um, just guide us, Father God. That's all that we ask for. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. First, what is color painting all about? Watercolor painting is a painting method. It is either the medium or the resulting artwork. Watercolor, also known in French as aquarelle, is named for its primary component. It is also the process of painting with pigments that are with water. Of all the painting process, watercolor painting is recognized for its simplicity because watercolor art is all about thin washes and transparent color. It consists of pigment in water and agent. It is applied with a brush onto a supporting surface. The resulting mark is transparent, allowing light to reflect from the supporting surface to luminous effect. The technique of water-based painting dates to ancient times and belongs to the history of many cultures in the world. In the West, European artists use watercolor to decorate illuminated manuscripts and to color maps in the Middle Ages, and to make studies from nature and portrait miniatures during the Renaissance. When the Western world began, the medium took a new dimension of creativity. Watercolor is a tradition that dates back to primitive man using pigments mixed with water to create cave paintings by applying the paint with fingers, sticks, and bones. Ancient Egyptians used water-based paints to decorate the walls of temples and tombs and created some of the first works on paper made of papyrus. But it was in the Far East and Middle East that the first watercolor schools or predominant styles emerged in the modern sense. Chinese and Japanese masters painted on silk as well as exquisite handmade paper. Their art was filled with literary allusion and calligraphy, but the primary image was a typically a contemplative landscape. This characteristic anticipated what was to be a central aspect of Western watercolor traditions in later centuries. In India and Persia, the opaque gouache paintings created by the Muslims depicted religious incidents derived from Byzantine art. During the Middle Ages, the monks of Europe used them to create illuminated manuscripts 
These books were considered a major form of art equivalent to easel painting in the later years. The most famous illuminated book was created by the Limburg brothers, Paul, Herman, and Jean. It was called the Book of Hours, created on 1415. Medieval artists also work on fresco, which continued throughout the Renaissance. Fresco is a method by which pigments are mixed with water and applied to a wet plaster. This method is used primarily to create by such artists like Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. The most famous fresco was created by Michelangelo, which was called Sistine Chapel of the Vatican, painted from 1508 to 1512. During and after the Renaissance, artists like Durer, Rembrandt, Rubens, and Van Dyck used watercolor to shade and tint drawings and woodcuts. Um, in Germany, Durer's watercolors led to the establishment of a school of watercolor painting that was dance ball. Durer is the first master of watercolor because his works were full renderings used as a preliminary studies for other works. Since paper was considered a luxury during this early ages, traditional Western watercolor painting was slow in evolving. The increase of availability of paper during the 14th century finally allowed for the possibility of drawing as an artistic activity. From 17th century up to the present, the British School of Watercolor, which specifically features landscape subjects, has been perhaps the most continuous and widely followed tradition in Europe. Good morning everyone, I'm going to discuss about the famous watercolorist. So first, Winslow Homer. Winslow Homer was born on February 24, 1836 and died on September 29, 1910. He was an American landscape painter and printmaker. He excelled equally in the arts of illustration, oil painting, and watercolor. Next, Winslow Homer was born in Boston. Masashi says he began his career as a freelance illustrator in 1857 and when he was 19 years old and apprenticed to a commercial lithographer for two years. He was soon a regular contributor to periodicals like Harper's Weekly. 1859 He moved to New York to be closer to the publishers that commissioned his illustration. eighteen sixty one to eighteen sixty five. Homer went to the front lines of the American Civil War where he sketched battle scenes for Harpers. Next sharpshooter on picket duty and prisoners from the front. So this painting is now part of the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Next is Homer began to gain acclaim as a painter. So in 70s and early 80s, 1880s, during which time he painted mostly rural or happy times, like farmer life, child playing, and young adult skirting. Next. Artist is Paul Cezanne. So January 19, 1839. So Paul Cezanne was born on January 19, 1839, and died on October 22, 1906. So he was a post-impressionist painter from France who, alongside Vincent van Gogh, 
and Paul lay the ground groundwork for the new and dramatically different world of modern art in the 20th century 20th century so next X and Provence so one of France's most southern areas Provence is a diverse and complicated physical region to the east of Rhone Valley consisting of various limestone plateaus and mountain ranges. Next, 1859 to 1869, 61. In X, Cezanne studied in New York and took painting courses at the same time despite his bank Next, he met the Impressionist, including Camille Pizarro. So, initially, the association between Pizarro and Cezanne, I Cezanne, Cezanne, which began in the mid 1860s, was one of the master, was one of master and mentorship, with Pizarro having a formative influence of the younger artist. Next, 1863, the first exhibition of the Desrefuses featured Cezanne's painting. So, from 1864 to 1869, officially Salon rejected Cezanne's the offerings every year. Next, Paul Cezanne died on pneumonia. pneumonia died because of that pneumonia so these are the artworks of Paul Cezanne so next is GMW Turner or Joseph Mallord William Turner so GMW was born on April 23 17 and died on December 191851. So he was an English romantic landscape painter, photocolorist. Next, JMW was born on Covent Garden, London, in London. So this is father William Gator, number and wig maker, and his mother, Mary Marshall became increasingly mentally unstable, perhaps in part due to the early death of Turner's sister in 1786. Next. Small town west of London on the banks of the River Thames. So it was here that he expressed his interest in paintings for the first time. Next, Margate in Kent. So, he made a lot of drawings by his which he displayed in his shop window, which his father displayed in his shop window. Next, he entered the Royal Academy of Art School in 1789. He applied to the Academy when he was 14 years old and accepted a year later. Next, a, water a watercolor of Turner's was accepted for the Royal Academy's Summer Exhibition of 1790. So, one year of study is all that is required. In, 1970 in 1796, he ex exhibited the fisherman at sea his first oil painting and for the rest of his life he exhibited practically practically every year at the academy thank you no. for what painting
first is, of course, you'll be needing the paint. But let us delve deeper into the paint that we are all familiar with. Commercial watercolor paints comes in two grades, which are the artist and the student. Artist quality paints are also known as professional, are usually formulated using a single pigment that results in richer color and vibrant mixes. While on the other hand, student grade paints have less pigment and formulated using two or more or less expensive pigments. Aside from that, watercolor painting comprises four principal ingredients. Colorant is common pigment, which composes of soluble compound or metal of it is the colorant who gives. Next is the binder, a substance that holds the pigment in suspension to the painting surface. It means that the binder is the pigments be together to create a dry film on the surface. Next, the paint's performance, adhesion, washability, scrub. Third one is the additives. A substance that alters the viscosity, hiding, durability, or color of the pigment and vehicle mixture. The purpose of additives is to prevent defects in the coating. For example, there are foam bubbles or poor leveling. Additives will be a useful ingredient for these situations. Lastly, solvent. It is a substance that is used to thin or dilute the paint for application and that evaporates when the paint hardens or dries. In simple terms, it does thickness of paint. Next slide. The second material that we will be needing is, of course, the paintbrush. We all know that there are really a lot of paintbrushes that we can use. If you really don't appreciate art that much, well, one single brush is fine for you to use. But if we all want to make our work easier and have a very nice output, it is better for you to know these kinds of brushes. First to start, let me tell you three parts of a brush. First is the tuft. It is a bundle of animal hairs or tightly together at the base. Second is the ferrule. It is the metal sleeve that surrounds the tuft that we can see. Purpose is to give the top its functional that provides mechanical support under pressure. Lastly, is the handle. It is typically shorter in a watercolor brush than in oil painting brush. It also has a distinct shape, while that's just behind the fur. Now let us discuss the types of brushes. First is the range. It is the most common and most versatile brush. You can use it for washes, painting broad strokes, and for finer details as well. It also comes with variety of shapes and sizes. Next is the flat brush. It is useful for broad linear strokes and for applying washes. It is said that this flat brush is the ideal brush to use for those crisp and straight edges. Mop brush is mostly used for washes. It holds a lot of water and pigment. Wash brush is like a flat brush, but it is much wider and is ideal for laying down large areas of washes easily. Major brush is another round brush that has a long hair and a thin point. It has its small size that can hold a good amount of water that is useful for painting long lines, scroll work, and other fine detail. Angled brush. It is similar to a flat brush, but with an angled shape, making it useful for painting sharp corners or edges and curved strokes. Since it's still a flat brush, you can also use it for flat washes. Filbert brush. This is also another kind of flat brush, but with an oval shape that can be quite useful for blending. Its rounded head makes it useful for painting soft round edges such as the petals of flowers. Cat's tongue brush, it is a two-in-one brush, a flat brush but with a fine and pointy tip just like a cat's tongue. That's why it is called cat's tongue. Fun brush, 
This is also flat, but with widely spread here, fanning out in a semi-circle shape. It's great for creating textural effects. Spotter brush. It's a detailed brush that has fine and short here, making it useful for small and minute detail work. It's also used as a retouching brush for minor corrections. Hake brush is originally from Japan. This brush is similar to a wash brush, wide and great for painting big swatches of washes. Take note that there are a lot of brushes and there are also a lot of sizes each. Well, for every watercolor artist, of course they have their own painting style. And so do you. You may have your own preference for this kind of brushes. Next slide. For our third material, it is the paper. Most watercolor painters before 1800s had to use whatever paper was at hand. But of course now, we can choose a lot of fine papers for watercolor painting. For every paper you will choose brings a huge effect on the quality of your work. A watercolor paper can be a handmade, mold made, or machine made. Handmade being the best and mold made comes in a close second. Both are very durable, stable, and should not distort under heavy wash. They both feature irregular surface textures, which are pleasing to paint on. If you buy artist quality paper, it should be either handmade or mold made. Students quality paper is typically machine made, which is cheaper, but prone to distortion and deterioration when wet. Aside from its production, you might want to know the texture types of a watercolor paper. First, you have a hot press paper. It has a smooth and hard surface. Some artists like this paper for a detailed work, but others find it too slippery, making it difficult to control the paint. One step up is called press paper, sometimes confusingly referred to a non-paper or not paper rather, meaning not hot pressed. It is the most versatile and popular texture, suitable for beginners and experienced painters alike, because its semi-rough surface is suitable for both detailed work and smooth washes. Finally, we have what is called the rough paper, which features pronounced tooth that's good for washes because it gives them a kind of luminosity. Most manufacturers offer different textures, so better select the brand and quality of the paper you want, and then you'll have your choice of texture. So after talking about the materials for watercolor, let's talk about the techniques. So um, watercolor painting has the reputation of being quite demanding. It is more accurate to say that watercolor techniques are unique to watercolor. So um, watercolor painting for beginners can be quite daunting, but I have found that uh, almost all difficult artists um, find when painting watercolor resolved by fixing um, their painting using basic techniques. So let's talk about the techniques. First, wet on dry. I bet first let's um, pag-usapan natin kung bakit um, an parang kung anong pinagkaiba ng watercolor sa acrylic. Kasi di ba kapag um, acrylic painting, um, essentially, um, yung acrylic painting, um, they all, they will just stay where they are, put and dry, more or less to the form they are applied. Pero kasi sa watercolor, parang, ano siya, more on water-based. Um, parang ito yung pinaka-partner ng watercolor. And, um, changing both the absorbing, absorbent, absorbent, uh, absorbency and shape of the paper when it is wet and the outlines and appearance of the paint as it dries. Um, 
The difficulty in watercolor painting is entirely in learning how to anticipate and leverage the behavior of water rather than attempting to control or dominate it. Um, yung mga sasabihin kong techniques, meron siyang mga ano, um, parang simple, simple step explanation and tips on how you can use them in painting. So, let's talk about the first one, which is wet on dry. Um, sabi nila, ito yung ano, this is uh, parang ito yung pinakamadaling watercolor techniques kasi um, you need it to paint details by details, sharp and sharp edges and defined shapes because the surface is dry paint and uh, it will only move in the direction you pull it. So, andito yung steps niya. Ayan, meron siyang four. Ayan yung um, simple step kung paano mo siya gamitin para sa painting. Yan. So, for the next um, techniques, andito naman yung wet on wet. Um, with this technique, you learn to let the watercolors do the painting for you. Wet on wet painting techniques create flowing abstract shape with different color blending into each other. Perfect to if need mo magpaint ng mga cloudy skies, ganon, soft shadows, distant landscape, and even flowing costume. <clears throat> and dito din yung simple steps niya, merong apat. Yon. Techniques, um, and ito naman yung graded wash. Ito naman yung nag, um, dark colors to light. You'll find this more useful for painting sunrise, canon, illustration backgrounds, and distant landscape. Yeah, and then din yung steps niya. Next is the color blending. Graded wash and color blending are similar watercolor techniques, pero with color blending, you slowly blending one color to another. Pwede mo itong gamitin, um, pwede mo rin itong gamitin sa sunrise and sunset ka nun. Pero, tip lang, kapag ginamit mo to, piliin mo yung mga colors na magko-complement sa isa't isa para maiwasan yung, um, parang pangit na paintings ka nun. Uh, katulad ng combination na yellow green, blue green, ganon, red and orange. Uh, isa siya sa mga good color combination. Tip is the um, lifting off paint. You'll want to lift paint sometimes to create highlights or correct a stroke. Meron dalawang um, paraan para magawa to. Andiyan din yon. So, ito yon. <laughs> One, dryer brush on tissue or cloth and touch it to the area where you want to lift the colors. Second, pwede mo ring um, you kamitin yung dry bristle soap up the color. Repeat if kailangan. Tip then to lift large abstract patches pwede kang gumamit ng all na clean tissue paper. Parang i-dump mo lang ganun, softly. Bleeding colors into one another. Um, this is more slightly complex version of wet in wet techniques um, where you get spontaneous blends of colors. There are also three steps. Next techniques is the layering, layering color, also known as glazing. It is used to make details oriented and slowly done painting with watercolor. It is one of the more time consuming techniques now. Say, first, apply a layer of light wet paint on white paper 
Second, use any color of your choices and remember to use large amount of water as the first layer should be very light. Second, once the wash is completely dry, take a different color and apply two to three strokes on the top of the first wash. And the third one, once the layer is completely dry, add another layer. Keep building layer using the same of or different colors to create color variation and values. Note, it is essential that the paper is absolutely dry so that the colors don't blend and get muddy. Many artists also use a hair dry to speed up the process. So that's all for the techniques. Ayan, I hope that you guys are still there. Shout out po sa mga tao natin dyan, no? Shout out po to each and every one of you. Ayan, welcome. Welcome po sa ating icebreaker. And for today, ayan, medyo tulog. Putulog na ba kayo? Parang hindi na kayo nag-e-enjoy, guys. Kalmahan nyo yan. Charatera. Oh, shout out sa inyo lahat. Shout out sa mga kapitbahay nyo dyan. Stretching, stretching konti. Charis. Perfect yan. Tama so much. Ayan. O, mag at dahil dyan, mag-icebreaker muna tayo, Mare. Kasi parang nabalitaan ko, yung anak daw ni Aling Nena natutulog na. Tama. Sino ba yan? You do not. You do not, Sinar. Cassie. Vensa. Aga-aga, Vensa. May tanghali na yes. Vensa. Yes. At re, ito ang malupit niyan, Mare. Ito ang malupit niyan. Handa na ba Ay, silang Mare. manalo? Tama. Gusto na bang yumaman? Handa Ay, na ba kayo ayaw. maging million na? Perfect! Sinong gusto maging milyonaryo? Yes! At dahil oh, dyan, Mare, explain mo niya. Lang. No. Kasi gusto ko yung price Ayaw, ayaw niyo? Eh. Oh. So, may pag-ig kasi. Lahat ng gustong magkaroon ng... Lahat ng gustong magkaroon ng kotse, mag, ano, mag-ha-ha-react. Tama. Descendant agad ng pera sa G-Cash. Uh -oh. Ang down payment agad. Sabi ko sa inyo, yung 10,000 nyo, bigay niyo yan sa akin, gagawin kong Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Sana all my 10,000, Mare. Serious, o ba? Kaya naman, ready na ba tayo para malaman kung paano manalo? Madali lang to, mas madali pa to kaysa sa palaro ni Kuya Willie. Tama nga. O, oh, ayan, bread, go na, Andeng. Explain mo na. I-explain mo na ang ating laro. Yes. So for today's video, mga webs, tayo ay mag-aala Bretman Rock at Princess May, no? Tayo magkakaroon ng song association for our icebreaker. So kung nananood kayo ng vlogs ni Bretman Rock, bardagulan tayo, mga webs, para sa premyo natin na pa-Gcash. Naniwala kayo sa akin. So kung nga lang sumali dito ay eh, dahil may pa-Gcash eh. Remember, 3-3 ngayon, pang-checkout pang yan. So, yung... Home screen, Mars! Diba? So, yung mechanics lang nito is, magbibigay kami ng word and you have to um, associate it to a song. Like, dapat magbibigay kayo ng song na may ganong, lyric, may ganong word sa lyrics. And you have, ano, like, paunahan kayo mag-mind kung may naisip na kayong... Um, song for that word. Like, kunwari, yung word is ice. Mine ice. Para para makakakoy namin kayo to sing the song or kahit basahin nyo lang tumula kayo. Basta ang importante dito, eager kang magkaroon ng laman ng iyong Gcash. Yes. So, oh, for example, threads. Mare, nag, ano ka nga, for example, nag-ice yan o oh, mata. Pero ice lang talaga dapat ha. Huwag kayong pala decision dyan guys ha. Walang magmamata dyan. Gigigilok sa inyo for today's video. Sis, yung naisip ko ice na yellow sis. Like ice, ice baby. Di ba? Charot. O oh, mga ganun. <laughs> ice, ice baby. Ganun. Yan. Yan. Kung ano yung nakalagay. Kung ano yung nakalagay dun sa comment. Ay sa ano natin. Sa ating example. Yan. Yan. Dapat yun yung sabihin yung... nyo. Huwag kayo pala decision. Okay? Girl. Yes. Pwedeng-pwede pwede po sumali yung sir namin dyan. Shoutout po sa inyo at sa pamilya mo over there. 
True. Pang check out to ulit, sir. Sir, hindi lang po to para sa mga mga matitinding pangangailangan. Kahit po wala kayo pangangailangan, kailangan nyo to. True. Kasi alam niyo ba kung magkano ang ating price? Oh my gosh. Mare, gusto ko na talaga sumali. Pwede ba ka sumali, Mare? Mare, syempre hindi si Raulo. Ghost ka be. Sorry na. Ay, no, ay, ay para kasi ako eh. Parang hindi ako sure sa nangangailangan si Andrea. Parang yes, hindi talaga ako lang sure. Pang-ibig lang this weekend, sis. Pang-happy Saturday, sis. Charis. O, diba? Pero ayan, para malaman na natin ang ating presyo, ito lang naman po ay tumataging ting na. Tantanan. 100,000 pesos! Perfect! Ipo oh, kaya, diba? 100,000 pesos, B. Yes, 100,000 without the thousand. Without the thousand, B. Kailangan ko pa rin yung pang shopping. <laughs> yes. And ayan, meron... Ito ang maganda, Mare. Kasi yung 100,000 pesos, dalawa ang winners. Perfect. So, ibig sabihin, isa siyang 200,000 pesos! True. Ayan naman, kung ako sa inyo, guys. Sumali na Galingan kayo. Galingan natin. True. Galing-galingan natin, gusto, mga vets. Siyempre, Mare, gusto natin pasalamatan ng ating ma masugid at talaga namang genuine sponsors. Yes! Yes! Thank you so much, Pastor. Kung mayaman natin, classmates, no? Baka naman, paampo naman kami sa magulang nyo, no? Yes. Malakpakan po natin ang ating mga sponsors for today, no? Yes, naman. Ang kaisa-isang Ninang Aubrey and Ninang Ali. Yes! Yes! Paampo po. Tinungiling yeah. pumunta ng Cavite. Oh, but anyways, ito pa na. Simula na natin ang palaro, Mari, kasi nung oras na pala... Oh, Mari, Baka, na Mari. Oo. Uh -oh. Kaya naman. Lang manalo. Yes. Kaya naman. PowerPoint. Ilabas mo na yun. Yan ang unang, uh, uh, yan ang unang ating word. Unang ating first yan, word. Yan, sabog. Sabog. At ito lang po Comment ang itatay. Comment mo na mga Mari ah. Iko-comment nyo ay mind sabog. Kung may naiisip na kayong sabog. Hmm. Sino bang hindi sabog? Tsara. Aga pa. Yes. Meron na ba nag-mind? Meron na ba nag-mind? Hello, guys. Operate naman konti, di ba? Balong-balong yes. tayo dyan, no? Sabi, ano ka ngayon? May nag-comment, may, may certificate po ba after the webinar? Ay, demanding. May pa-gcash na nga tayo, Mari Takes. Ay mo ba na gcash? Erica, kung sa iyo. Hindi lang certificate to. Pati Ferrari gusto mo. <laughs> Chris. Ayan. Wala pa nagmamain. Ayaw nyo. Main sabog. Wala kayong naisip na sabog. Ayaw Ayun nyo. Ayan. Huwag nang mahiya. No judgment dito, mga sis. Ayaw niya na one higher, Josh and Pesha! Charot. Uy, si Britney na yan dyan. O, oh, kapag... Ay, Pero kasi si Baby, Britney. one more time. Go, Britney! Let's go, Britney. Hello? Okay. Hello, sis. Ito pala siya. Ayan na siya. Ito yung naisip ko. Matino ang isip ko, pero ako'y sabog na. Ayan. Yes! Perfect! Para tayo na naisip. Paris. Okay. Ten Congratulations. Para ito guys ha. Ano mamaya ah. Hindi pala para natin nalinaw, Mare. Oo, hindi ano? natin nalinaw. Kasi kada may sasagot sa ating first part, padamihan tayo ng points dito guys. Mm, per Pada, point may, may equivalent. Ang may pinakamaraming point, ang mananalo ng 100,000 pesos! True. Okay, okay, ready. Okay, ready na tayo for our next, <laughs> next word, guys. <laughs> next word is... Yan! Norem. Magdududa my talaga norem. akong malala na kapag walang nag-agawan sa norem na yan, ha? Ayan, my norem, my guys. My norem, mga sis! Kaya nyo yan. Imposibleng di nyo yan alam. 
Cinco, tag cinco na lang. Ah, pili na. No rem, sir. Oh my God, you don't know, you don't know, know the no rem. <laughs> Meron, sir. Kabalik taran lang po. Pero yeah. may, may song talaga, sir, na may ganyang lyrics. May ganyang yes. words sa lyrics. Ay! Ayan! Perfect ka, Gia. Gia. Gia, let's go. Ilabas mo na yun. Pwede <laughs> mang hindi kantahin. Ay, hindi. Pwede na mo. Basta kailangan kantahin with the beats. Yeah. TikTok pa, Cherry. Sisimulan namin. Su, 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 At dahil dyan, Mari, norem ka ng points! Yes! Perfect ka ng Maria. Mayroon na tayong one point kay Gia at one point kay Britney. Sino kayo mag-uuwi ng Ferrari sa labas? Yes. Merong, merong humahabol. Kasi hindi yes. kaya tayong kayang kantahin. Tingnan mo yung sa chat box eh. Parang mag-joke si Mari. Paano yan, Mari. Sir Wally? No, Remy, pasala dito. Oh, diba? Hindi kayong kaya ba yung pang mga no, Remy, ako dito, madami. Pag na lang ako eh. Hindi ko kaya mga... Ano na yun eh. Masyadong mataas. I mean, mababa ko yun. Charot! Yes. Uh, ano yun po natin ang ating kaibigang si Wally? <laughs> Cherise. Ayan ang ating next word, dalaga. Dalaga. Mind dalaga mga kapatid, galiwat kanan, meron tayo precise everything. Mind dalaga. Si Britney, okay? Kapagayaan Ay, perfect na talaga, Britney. Hindi ka ko mag-check out ko mamaya pagkatapos eh. May check out ko sa Ano ang dalaga ng isang maring Britney? True. Pang Shopee to. Tama! Ilaban mo yan, Mare. Kailangan din na pang Shopee. Tree-tree ngayon. True. Talagang Pilipina yun. Yan! Yeah, yeah. Perfect na nga yung Britney. Let's be friends. Gusto ko yung mga kantahan mo. Karap na ka pa. Dahil na two points, guys. Kung ako sa inyo, kabahan na kayo. Two, two points sa si Britney, si guys. Britney. Hindi lang, hindi ako naniniwala si Maring Britney nang kailangan ng pang-checkout sa Shopee at oh, oh. for today's video. Oh, kung ayaw niya ng Shopee Milky. Ay, suko nun, Bev. Ayaw pa din? 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 Okay, proceed na tayo sa ating next word. Ay, grabe naman to, oy. Parang, Ay, ay. pag yan talaga, sinasabi ko sa inyo, ha. Paunahan, guys. Galingan nyo naman. Yes, mine to mine join. Mine to join na. Mga ka-two joints na, no? Pwede daw po ba yung sa skeletal system na kanta? Charot. Pwede nung gabi. These are my joints. Here are two joints. Ganon. Yes. Hoy Wally, ilabas mo na yan. Alam kong alam mo yan. Sabihin mo man na mine two joints. Yes, mine two joints muna. Wala decision, <laughs> Wally, ha? Oo oh, nga. Wow. Mamaya mag-on cam daw. Sayawin mo daw yung sayo na sinabi mo. <laughs> Curious. Go, Maring Wally. I-mine mo na yan. Hello, oh my gosh. They don't know the two joints kasi ano, and they're so sorry, ha? Sorry yeah. guys, are you guys from DH? I'm sure sorry. From We don't... Dapping Village lang ako. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. What's, what's like, what's the jumping village ba? Like Talbog, Talbog? Like that? Something like a village ba? Oh, it's the... Oh, yeah. Ikawin mo na yan, Pat. Ayan, ma... Ay, Ayan, perfect si na talaga, Maring Gia. Ay, pinagpapatala! Gusto ko yan, umahabol kay Maring Britney. Nako, I love it. Yes. Oh, Maring Gia, ano ang iyong two joints? Ay, an ano ang two joints? <laughs> two joints para mafia. Yes! 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 Perfect! I love it. Two points na rin for Maring Gia, mga vibes. Nako, kung ako sa inyo, sumali kayo sa labanan na to. 
Yes, at syempre, hindi, hindi na po nagpapatalo. May two points na po si Gia, may two points pa si Britney. Hindi, hindi nyo kaya. Hindi nyo kaya, guys. Uy, lamang. Ano yung lamang? Oh, mine lamang, everyone. Yes, la- ano yan? Lamang o lamang? Ano ba yan? Alamang. Charot. Kahit ano na, Bebs. Yes, Ay, lamang ma- tayo. Oh, si Maring Britney. Maring Britney, hindi eh. namin ano pinakaya. Ano yung check out mo, Maring Britney, ha? Ilaban mo yan. Yo, oh, ano, Maring Britney. Sa TikTok ko, eh. Lamang nga, lamang. Eh. 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 Perfect na talaga, TikTokers ko na pala si Maring Britney. At ayan, ayan po ang ating first part ng laro. At syempre, clear na clear na clear naman na si Maring Britney po ang ating ano, ang ating pinaka ano, winner for the first part. Yes, naman, Maring Britney. Okay, mawalan ng pag-asa mga Maring Kate. Kikibalato naman po shipping lang. Charot. Ayan, congratulations, Britney. Sa mga Maring. Yes, sa mga pwede kayo. gustong, you know, madagdaga ng pang-checkout. Yes, at guys, huwag kayo, huwag kayong masad kasi may part 2 pa tayo mamaya. Kaya oh. i-ready nyo na yung utak nyo. Kung ako sa inyo yes. nagkakasal right Kung ako sa inyo nag-scroll ako sa TikTok right now. Charot! Yes. Makin kayo sa report namin. Meron so, pa tayong next part ng reporting yes. din. Maring Britney, don't forget to send your Gcash kay Sir. Kasi so, Maring Gia din. Si Sir pa lang may ambag sa ano. <laughs> si Sir pa lang magbibigay ng ano, no? Yes. Pang premyo. You can PM kay Aubrey, kay ano natin, kay Ninang Aubrey. Yes, Or Ninang Aubrey. Or kay Ninang Aliyah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, thank, thank you po. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Congratulations po. Ayan. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Aray, makisali pa po kayo sa ating icebreaker, mama, yan. Yes, and kinikinig yes, muna tayo sa kapets, ha? Oo, siya, nagising na kayo, di ba? Good morning. Yes, kaya naman, let's go. Go, go, go. Hi, everyone. My name is Eileen Orate, and today I'm going to share with you the basic tips and techniques when it comes to watercoloring. Include ka na rin dito yung mga paper to use, brushes to use, etc. Lahat ng mga bagay na kailangan mo on how to do watercoloring on a basic mode lang, basic level lang tayo so that every, everybody could catch up and understand. Uh, de-demonstrate ko din later on. May video ako dito. De-demonstrate ko kung paano ko ginawa yung watercolor art. A little background lang guys ha, hindi ako super major major na magaling sa watercolor art. Pero I really enjoy doing it, lalo na when it comes to blending the colors. Kasi in watercolor talaga, talagang hindi mo malalaman kung kailan mag-blend yung colors eh. Pero masaya, papakita ko yun sa inyo at mas may intindihin siya later on. A little disclaimer lang, kung medyo mabilis ako magsalita sa video, I'm really sorry. It's just that 17 minutes po kasing ginawa yung paint. So, turn down ko lang siya so, sa 5 minutes para medyo bumilis at hindi kayo maboying. Pero sana maintindihan niyo yung mga pag explain ko later. So, without further ado, let's proceed. Okay guys, so today we're going to do water coloring. And right now in this video, I'm going to discuss the paper brushes and techniques. And of course, I'm gonna give you bonus tips while executing a water color art later on. Now, let's go with the brushes. Honestly, wala talagang specific na brushes. Any brush will do. It's just that, depende yan sa technique mo. Next tip is to use two water dipper. Ano nga tong water dipper? These are the, yung mga glasses na ginagawa natin to kind of rinse off yung color. Dalawa siya para yung isa pang tanggal talaga ng color and yung isa naman pang bago ulit. Ganyan. Now, let's still proceed to the watercolor paper. I'm using this craft more. Cold press, guys, para mas lumabas yung pigment. And sobrang important ito, use 140 plus GSM or gram ng paper so that hindi siya mabubutas. Now, let's proceed to the technique number one. It's a wet-on-wet wet technique. 
first is you're go going to wet the base. Then look what happens here when I put na. Ayan, nakikita nyo na nagsasplash yung color niya. At kapag binlend siya, wala siyang mga ano, hindi siya mahirap na igalaw-galaw dun sa paper kasi nga basa din. Sobrang ganda nitong technique na to when you're doing galaxy things. So maganda siya. Uh, you should try it out. That's how it looks. Ayan, medyo nilalagyan ko lang na medyo white-white to kind of accentuate. Wala lang, pinaparealize ko na sarili ko na kaya kong pagandahin niya. <laughs> Ito rin pala isa pang technique. Kapag ka medyo nasobrahan kayo, gamit na kayo ng water. Wala nang iba, water lang. Ayan, blend, blend, blend. Now, let's do the technique number two. It's a wet on dry. Basically, wet yung brush mo, yung pigment, on a dry paper. Tinan nyo kung ano mangyayari dito. See? You have more control kung saan pupunta yung color mo. Pero since wet nga siya, kayang-kaya mo pa rin siyang gawing solid wash. Pero, alam mo yun, may mga strokes pa rin. Control pa rin. Proceeding sa technique number 3, ito naman yung dry on wet. So, ibig sabihin na basa yung base natin, tapos dry yung ating pigment. Papakita ko sa inyo yung difference ng wet on wet sa dry on wet. Ah. Sa wet on wet, guys, nakita naman natin na kapag tinap mo yung color, nagsasplash siya. Ibig sabihin, wala siya sa isang lugar, ganun. Para siyang fireworks, ganun. O yan, o, tinan nyo. Diba, kumakalat yung pigment. Pero sa uh, dry on wet, ganito yung isura niya. Ayan, mas control mo kung saan napupunta at hindi siya kumakalat-kalat. Ayan, pwede mo rin i-build up. Diba? Now, sa technique number 4, dry on dry, ito, isa to sa mga magandang technique. Lalo na if you're doing textures, yan, sa mga watercolor art mo. Kasi, most likely, dry paper on a dry. Hindi naman super duper dry, pero dry siya na brush. Ayan, maganda siya, diba? Nakikita niyo yung mga texture yung mga scripts na ginagawa ko dyan. At pwede mo rin siyang i-build up actually. Look at that. One swipe, two swipe, three swipe. See? Now let's proceed to how to gradient. Ito, dalawa yung ginawa ko dito. Yung first technique, ito, papakita ko sa inyo. From merong color hanggang sa mag-lighten up. Pero itong second naman, ginawa ko is yung pa, horizontal, pa vertical na yan. Ayan. From up to down, dinadrag ko lang yung brush ko and then pulling out the pigment sa taas. Para bumalik doon yung gradient. Now, let's do solid wash. Ito yung pag ginagawa mo, gusto mo na box na puro yellow lang. Ito yung solid color. Babasain mo muna and then, ayan, lalagyan mo siya. Don't tap tap here, guys. Ayan, slide slide lang hanggang sa masak up na ng paper yung color. Hi, everyone. Just a disclaimer that this artwork process that I'm going to show you or on how I personally do watercolor art. So, let's go! Starting off, this is our reference from Kumaring Google. I chose this art to kind of challenge myself. It's a little detailed, but I know that you can do this on your own comfort. And I'm starting off with a light blue paint using the dry on wet technique. I did this to mark down the shape and size of my artwork and also to jot down the parts on which I know nalalagyan ko ng blue definition later on. So it's basically the head, the tail, and a little bit on the wings. Using the same technique right now, I'm putting a lot darker na blue to kind of start the uh, dimensioning yung ulo and a little bit sa bottom part. Medyo basa yung ginawa ko dito to kind of blend out yung ginawa nating mark earlier. Now, look what happens here. O, diba yellow yung nilagay ko? Pero it kind of blended with the blue kasi nga medyo basayang ginawa ko kanina. This is the fun part on watercoloring kasi you get to control and play with the colors. But, yeah, using yellow to mark the parts na medyo yellow sa reference. Right now, I'm blending everything and not adding colors. Just blending it out. I know it looks so magical kasi super nagiging yellow-green na siya, which is I like. 
So what they're called during Maritime tinatawag na trust the process and you would know how powerful it is until you've experienced it. But right now, I'm starting to put green na to deepen yung inner part ng wings. Hindi siya kakulay ng reference, but it really gave me an opportunity to have the wings get a little dark. And here I am, again, blending every part that I feel like blending. Blending the blue, blending the green, and everything. I swear, in watercolor, you just really have to blend. Ito, medyo na-realize ko na malnourished pala yung ibon ko. Kaya I decided na patabain siya. Pero I overdone it so much. Pero carry bells na, nilalagyan ko na rin yun ng blue. Which is a little bit dark. So ginamit natin na pang mark earlier. But you will know why. O diba, inusog ko pa yung reference para i-validate yung sarili ko. Nakaya ko pa yung pagmukha yung magkakambal. Pero bebs, hindi na talaga kaya. Ayan, nakikita nyo na nagpatong pa ako ng darker blue to, des to the designated part. Ito yung dahilan kung bakit mahalaga na gumamit ng 140 plus na gram ng paper. Kasi kung be, kung pan paper to yung ibon ko, baka wala ng ulo. Ayan, kung nakita nyo yon, ginawa ko rin yung technique na yon. Ang tinatawag ko doon is to suck or texture. Basically, ginagamit, uh, gumagamit ka ng other paper to either suck the excess water or to just use it to put a texture sa art na ginagawa mo. Ayan, gumamit na rin ako ng white sa center to kind of blend everything that's in there at para matapos na din for today's video. Ayan, gumawa na ako ng yellow for the tuka and following it with the black. Grabe, oh, tignan niyo yung pressure ng kamay ko dyan. Oop, okay, oh, at least na ayos. Ayan, a little bit green kasi hindi pa ako makontento, Vebs. Kaya nilagyan ko pa siya. Ayan, ginawa ko na naman yung technique para makaproceed na ako sa detailing. O, diba? Linya-linya. Dut-dut-dut. Ganun. Grabe yung inig ng kamay ko dyan kasi gusto ko talaga na maging magkamukha yung reference and yung picture na ginagawa ko. Ayan, sa sobrang, sa sobrang gigil ko ba nanginig ako, nginig ko talaga yung lamesa dyan. Pero yan, nakikita nyo na nagwiwisik ako ng parang color blue kasi para lang for little final touches. Ayan, naglagay ako ng white for the eyes. And yeah, love it gonna matapos. And that's our final product. What do you guys think? Thank you. Yes, hello. Gising pa ba kayo? Sana may natutunan tayo for this video, no? Bebs, napakagaling naman, Bebs. Galing naman ng sino ba yun? Bebs, napakasatis So, maging friend yun. Hindi ka akong makatulog doon. True. Ang satisfying, Bebs. I love it. Pero alam ko hindi ko yung carry, eh. Siyempre, kaya niyo yun. Kaya nga may guide tayo, Bebs. Huwag kang pala desisyon dyan. Pero anyways, ayan, nandito na tayo sa ating part 2. Hata na ba kayo pananong 100,000 pesos?
crew. How about tayo mga webs? Pwede How about tayo mga webs, okay? Ito, itong part 2 na to, medyo ano to, medyo chill lang. Yes, mga pang ano to, pang mga chill people. Kung wala kayo TikTok, mananalo kayo dito. Uh, sir, pwede pa naman po. So, kung gusto nyong matalbogan si Maring Bethany, galingan natin. Yes, ilapan natin niya. Huwag natin hahayaan na si Maring Britney lang ang masaya ngayong payday sale. Ay, charot, 3 pala. Pwede pa humabog si Maring Gia, sir. Kasi may 2 points na siya, so... Yes. 1 point lang pagitan nila ni Maring Britney. So, pwede silang... Yes, kaya ilaban natin yan. At handa na ba kayo? Press haha sa lahat ng handa na. True. Sa gustong sumabak sa labanan with Maring Beat at Maring Gia. Ay! Meron ng gabawi ng away na yan. Naku, Maring Alexis. Yari ka kay Maring Beat. Yes, kaya naman ready na ba? Ready na ba kayo mga beds? Tara na mga beds. Huwag ka na, na, na mga amoy dyan, Mare. Hindi, Mare. Kaya naman ang first Ayan. word. Pangarap. Pangarap. Diyos ko po, pangarap. Pangarap. Dapat Ay, tao. Sino na kay... Dapat Oy, Mike. Tao, ano? Perfect talaga si Maring Britney, oh. Bilis talaga, oh. Maring Britney, hindi mo kaya, Bells. Alman, Maring Britney. Go. Dapat daw kakantahin. Oo nga kasi belt pa ito na ito, Belt out. Pangarap. Cherise. Wait lang, wait lang. Ay, perfect. Okay, okay. Kata oh, hibigan para kay Manny Britney. Let's okay. go. Pangarap ko ang ibigan ka sa habang panahon. Yun lang. <laughs> Mare, Mare wala may pito. Ka. Yung pito yung hinihintay namin. Nung bibitin si Maring Britney Vebs, Mari ata talent fee. Mari, dalian mo na yung 100,000 ka na dyan. Gusto ko yung weasel. Weasel, weasel. <laughs> Tawag na sa Halen Yarn. Sige, parang nahiya na ata. Sa... Yung ibon <laughs> kasi daw kasi kanina pininturahan na. Pininturahan na kasi yung ibon kanina hindi niya na natili. Ay. Joke lang, Marit and Britney. Baka, ano, mapaos ka na dyan. Wala kaming pang vayad, vayad ng ano mo. Pang vayad ba? Yes, Hindi ka naman pang vayad. Hindi ka naman pang vayad. Sorry na, Vebs. Ayan, congratulations for earning a point, Maring Britney. Yes, guys, huwag tayo papatalo kayo. Sige ko sa inyo. Hindi ako magpapatalo kayo, Maring Britney. Ako din, hindi ako papatalo, Vebs. Pang shopping ko yun. May 100,000 pesos na yan. Oh, agawin nyo na, Charot. Agawan nyo rin. <laughs> Charot, tawag mo. Kaya naman ang next song natin ay Bata. Yeah, Let's go, Bata. bata. Go. Mine, Bata. May precise tayo dyan, mga mare. Small to large frame. Let's go, Bata. So, pang Bata lang po. Ah, wala pa rin nagmay. Wala na hulog yung bata, oy. Wala na nagmay. Oy, Alexis! Ay, na. Go, Alexis! Umahabol. Yan ang bet namin. Mga ano, Go. mga palaban. Alexis, what is your bata? Ano po? Uh, wait lang po. Pwede ba sa sabihin na lang? Huwag po kantahin? Hindi po, kantahin niyo po. Charot lang. Sige, sige. Go. Sige, sige po. At ang bata ka pa. Lyrics niya. Alam mong tawain na po. Perfect. Gusto ko yan. Carry na yan. Hindi po tayo kikigan. Yun. Mari, katahin mo nga. Nawala ako. <laughs> Sorry. Ulit daw for today's video, Vebs. Doon si Ayon yun yata. Charot. Tapos. 
Sorry ah, sige. For next video na tayo. Aya, thank you, congratulations sa iyong pabata. May one point ka na rin, Alexis. Ay, Alexis, hindi ka pa nananalo. Huwag ka excited. May ano to, points to. Build up tayo. Yes, magbardago lang kayo ni Maring Gia at yes. Maring Ricky para sa points. Huwag tayo medyo pala points. decision. Anyways, ayan, ilaban na natin ang next, next na word. Oh my gosh, hurts. Ay, what hurts? Hurts, Mari. Mine hurts. Mine hurts, diba? mga Mari. Mari, di ba ang hurts? Ay, ayun so... na. Mari yan. Britney talaga eh. Naku, guys. Mari Britney, hurts. Go na. Laban mo yan. Go. Go. Tell me why it hurts, my baby. Uh -huh. Ay, di ko na isip ko. Si Mari Britney talaga. Song is na tiktokeris pa. Yes, di ba naman yun, Maring Britney? Akala ko ang kakatahin na it really hurts. Ang naisip ko lang, it really hurts. Ang magsabi sa inyo, pang ganunan lang ako, hindi ako pang katulad ni Maring Britney. Yes, o di ba, sabi siya inyo eh. Kaya, Go, Maring Britney, lang ka, Maring Alexis, kaya pa. May two points ka na for this part, and Alexis, may one point. Gulingan mo ba? At pwede pa pong kumapol ang iba, kaya naman, let's go for the next word. Yes, Maring PPT, gagalaw ka today. <laughs> Hilo mo? Ayan. Ikaw. Oh, mine, ikaw. Mari, mine, ikaw. Ay, perfect ay, ay, na, Mari. Ay, Alexis, ay, ay. ay, gusto ko yan. Bardagulan tayo. Alexis, Mari, ikaw na. Kantahin Mari, mo, ah. Bruno. Kantahin mo, galingan mo. Hello? 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 Maring Alexis, bibigyan kita ng 10 seconds. Ano po? Ayan na siya. Wait lang. Ito na. Don't go safe. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ikaw lamang ang nasa isip ko, Sinta. Perfect! Two points na sila pareho ni Maring Britney for today's video, Vebs. I love it. For the gulang time na sila sa next word. Sino kayang magwawagi for today? Yes. Ito, ito, Mari, ano ah. Tiebreaker na to sa kanilang dalawa. Mine, mahal. Mine, mahal. Ay! Ay! Perfect na dyan. Maring Alexi. Sana all mahal. Charot. Joke lang. Go, Mari. Go, Mari. Mahal na mahal kita. Higit pa sa iniisip mo. I, sana o. I, sino ba yung mahal na yan? Comment down below. Sarat. Mahal yung bibili naman dyan, Maring Alexis. May pinagdadaan-daanan? May pinagdadaan-daanan ka daw ba? Si Maring Alexis to habang nagre-report kanin after yung first part ng icebreaker. Kasi parang para sa kanya yung mga wordings eh. Yes, yeah, super. Kaya naman na gusto nating i-congratulate ang ating winners for today. Siyempre, yes, Maring the, Alexis. Maring Alexis, Maring Gia, ay hindi, si Maring Britney at siyempre hindi natin patatag, hindi natin nasasayangin ang effort ni Maring Gia. Maring Ooh, Gia, meron Maring kang Gia. consolation prize. Ooh, Dahil dyan, meron ka ng ano. Ng natin. Yes, meron ka ng two days, one night stay sa ano, sa Solaire. Ah. Cheris. Ayan, send Gcash na lang po. Send Gcash po tayo kay Ninang Aubrey. Ninang At Aubrey, Ninang thank Aliyah. you so much. And Ninang Alia, salamat po sa ating sponsors. Salamat mga Ninang. Oh, oh, ayan. Po. Let's go mga vebs. <laughs> Ayan guys, we do have our online quiz. This link will be answerable before. Ah, dapat ipasa din 
at 11 p.m. You can scan and of course, you can copy the link that's on the screen right now. Maraming 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 salamat po sa lahat na nag-participate and of course, sa lahat na nakinig. We hope that you guys have learned something today about watercoloring and sana nag-enjoy din kayo. Yes, thank you mga bebs. Our link is on the comment section, guys. You can check it out. Thank you so much. If ever may gusto ko yung gusto nyo yung mag-review, so send na lang po namin yun. Our link will be posted guys in a short while. Para you can review. And uh, guys, ulit, hanggang 11pm lang po ang ating link. Kaya sana makapag-answer na kayo as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. And yeah, that's it for our group, Traditional Painting, Watercolor. Kaya naman maraming maraming salamat po muli sa inyong lahat. May God bless us all and enjoy your each and every day. Let's go! Walang scammers for today's video, mga bebs. Walang scam dito, maring Alex. Wait ka lang maring Alexis, ha? Yung mga ninang natin from Cavite, hindi yan scammers. Naku, papaampun nga ako dyan. Sayaw tapok-tapok, porag at ako.